All right, guys, time for our next episode of Golf With Your Friends. This is the haunted course and collision mode is on. Also, from here on out, we're only playing to the 10th hole. You boys ready? You know it. Yeah, definitely ready to make a comeback. Watch out for Grandpa Joe this time around. All right, I'm up first. As well I should be, seeing as how I was the clear winner on the forest course. Screw you, Barack. You and I tied for first place, but only because you hijacked the game. I should have known you'd play dirty like that. Here you go again, being a wimp. Grow some nads, Donnie. Get wrecked, bro. All right, time to dominate. Watch the Trumpinator own this hole. Ha <laughs> ha. I highly doubt you can do any better than me. Oh, look, you missed Donnie. What a surprise. Let Grandpa Joe show you both how it's done. I had a bowl of fruity pebbles this morning and all that sugar has me revved up like my classic 67 Corvette. Joe, if you were a car, you'd be in the junkyard by now. Stop being a hater. It's not my fault, I'm 81 years old. By the way, we have a new request in the comment section of our last video. This person asked if we would please change the color of our balls. Barack's should be black, Joe's white, and mine orange. What do you guys think? I like red, white, and blue because those are the colors of the United States flag. But if we're going for skin tone, it makes sense. My skin tone is not orange. Yes, it is. Yeah, you're definitely the color of cheddar cheese. No, I'm not. Maybe your exclusive line of cosmetics should come up with a new formula of tanning lotion called Make Donnie White Again. Aha, uh -huh, good one, bro. You guys are just being haters. But you know what? That's fine. I'm not going to argue about it anymore. So are we all in agreement that we're going to change the colors of our balls after completing the haunted course? Let's do it. Yeah, I'm down. All right, then that settles it. Time for me to get the first hole in one. Watch me sail into first place with ease. Yeah, haha. -ha. Not happening. You think you're a better player than you actually are, Donnie? I guess that's to be expected, seeing as how you have no sense of humility. Yeah, well, at least my brain still works. As bad as your cognitive function is, you should be in a nursing home right now. I hate to say it, but Donnie's right. You guys totally made me miss that shot. So you know what? Fuck you both. Sorry, Joe, but you're going to have to stop blaming others for your own shortcomings. Stop being mean. Okay, okay, let's all just take it down a notch. Joe, I'm sorry for making fun of you. It's okay, Donnie. To be honest, I just want to hurry up and finish the game. I never told you guys this, but a few days ago, Jill caught me looking at hoes on OnlyFans, and she took away my phone and computer privileges. She's out shopping right now, but if she comes home and finds me on the computer, she's probably going to divorce me. I always knew she was the alpha in your relationship, but you never told me she had your nuts in a vice? Yeah. Where does she keep your leash? In the closet, mostly. It's retractable up to 20 feet. Jill only uses it when she's worried I might get lost in a crowd. The last time I had to wear it, we were at a Taylor Swift concert. I was throwing friendship bracelets onto the stage while Tay Tay was singing anti-hero when a mob of teenagers almost trampled me. I always knew you were a closet Swifty. Of course he is. Tay Tay loves Joe. Yeah, before the last presidential election, she invited Jill and I over to her house for cookies. Damn, those were good. Kid Rock and Kanye are way cooler than Taylor Swift, Joe. Both of you shut the fuck up. We need to focus on the game. Why are you in such a bad mood? Did Michelle whoop your ass for not taking out the trash again? The trash got taken out when you were evicted from the White House, Donnie. I told you that shit was rigged, but I'll reclaim my rightful place a year from now when I win the next presidential election. Warning, Jill Biden approaching. Threat detected. Oh shit, she's gonna bust me. I gotta get off the computer. Dude, calm down. We'll tell her you were just playing games with us. Nowhere near those hoes on OnlyFans. Yeah, we'll vouch for you. Okay, but if it doesn't work, I'm blaming the two of you for all the trouble I'm going to be in. Joe, what's going on? What the fuck are you doing? I told you you were grounded. You're not supposed to be on the computer. Don't worry, Jill. He wasn't doing anything wrong. We were just playing games. Shut it, Donnie. I wasn't talking to you. You're nothing but a bad influence on my husband. Clearly, you have no reason to trust Donald. But you can trust me, Jill. And I'm here to tell you that Joe hasn't been doing anything wrong. In fact, he was just telling us how sorry he is that he let you down. Isn't that right, Joe? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, and he was also telling us about the new car he's buying you for Christmas. I never meant to tell you about it. He was going to keep it a secret until the big day. But after all that's happened, he felt it would be best to let you know just how much you mean to him and just how much he loves you. Really? Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. No, that's horseshit. I take back what I said, Joe. You can finish playing the game with Donnie and Barack. I love you so much. 
Jill Biden departing. Threat neutralized. Oh my God, what the fuck are you guys doing? Where am I supposed to come up with the money for a new car? Just tell the Chai Coms to wire you another 50 grand. You're already laundering massive amounts of money from them, so it shouldn't be a problem. I swear to God, I'm gonna kick your ass when I see you, Donnie. Well, you're sure as hell not gonna kick my ass in this game. Not playing like that anyway. I don't wanna hear it. You guys totally lied to my wife, and now I'm on the hook to buy her a new ride. My God, you're such a wuss. You act like you don't have millions in the bank to spend on whatever you want. I thought I was doing you a favor, but no. I had to be accused of wrongdoing. So I tell you what, Joe. If you'll just shut the fuck up about it, I'll buy the car for you. Then everyone will be happy. Fine, but I'm still pissed at you. Damn it, Joe. Get over it. If Donnie and I hadn't stepped in to help you, you'd be sitting in the den right now watching another episode of The View with Jill. So let's all just move on and play the game. Is that all right with you? What the fuck ever, bro. But don't either of you pull some shit like that on me ever again, or you're going to cause me to have a stroke and die. Then you'll be playing games with Kamala. Is that what you want? Well, she is hotter than you, but no fuck that. Yeah, Michelle would skin me alive if she caught me playing games with Kamala. So don't you go dying on us, old man. All right, I'm just gonna follow Joe's lead here. Seems to be a sensible approach considering how fucked up this hole is. Stop hating on the game devs, Donnie. It's not their fault you're a dumbass. Aha, uh -huh. you hit Biden's ball. Now I'm in an even better position for my next shot. I would say I did that out of the kindness of my heart, but that would obviously be a lie. Yeah, no shit. All right, time for Grandpa Joe to show you boys how it's done. Up the wall and over to the other side. Like the millions of illegals you're so proud to let into our country. I'm telling you, Joe, the American people are not happy with the way you're handling that situation. It's a fucking disaster. Who cares? My voters will never leave my side for the likes of you. Wait and see. Yeah, your fat ass sold out to the crazy conservatives, Don. Fuck! What the hell was that? You're really starting to suck at this game. If you and Barack hadn't been talking so much shit, I would have done better. I can assure you of that. There you go again, blaming others for your own bad decisions. It's really not that hard to get your ball over the mantle, Donnie. You just need to focus and stop paying attention to all the bullshit. Okay, what the fuck? Are you my new golf coach or something? You think maybe Joe and I ought to start calling you Tiger Woods? Please, stop trying to school me then stop playing like trash. I will, believe me. Even from way back here, I can make it to the other side. So don't get your panties in a twist, Barack. You wear panties? I didn't know that. What color are they? Fuck you both. I don't prance around in women's lingerie. What about you, Joe? Boxers or briefs? Depends. Good one. All right, bro, your turn. Let's see if you can sink this. Don't choke. Please, I'm a better player than the two of you put together. More capable in every way by every metric. Shut your fucking pie hole, Barack. Yeah, nobody cares, bro. Besides, this is only the second course. Even if you manage to take the win here, we still have a long way to go before all is said and done. So stop acting all high and mighty. I'm just telling it like it is, Donnie. All right, let's move on. I'm sure I'll do better on the next hole. Joe, you're up first. Let's see what you can do. Okay, watch Commander Joe as he sets himself up for the win. I know the perfect angle for my first shot. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, this hole isn't exactly easy. You guys should have more faith in me. Like I said, I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, whatever. Oh shit, he wasn't kidding. Ha, ah, do you believe me now, bro? Not bad for an old crypt keeper, but Rabama's not about to let you take the win on this hole. Don't listen to him, Joe. He's just talking shit. I'm not sure how you think you're gonna do better than me, Barack, but go ahead. Let's see what you're capable of. What the fuck is taking you so long? Just take the shot already. I think he's trying to screw you over, Joe. Of course I am. This is a competition, not a fucking prayer circle. Okay, my turn. This hole is turning out to be an even worse shit show than the last one. Yeah, especially now that Barack fucked me over like he did. You're a panini, Joe. An absolute snowflake. I'm tired of your whining. No, fuck that. You were playing dirty, bro. Yeah, thanks to you, our balls are touching, which is an unholy thought in and of itself. But what's worse, now I don't have a clear shot at the hole. I don't even know what angle to take now. Which just goes to show that you suck at this game. Shut the fuck up, bro. You're not helping. Fuck it, I'm just gonna bank it and hope it stays on the carpet. Oh shit, that's not good. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have been so competitive. Taking advantage of you two kind of feels like I'm committing elder abuse. Okay, Joe, he's taking this way too far. Yeah, fuck you, bro. I may get a little confused at times, but I'm still fit enough to whoop your ass. Just before you die of a massive heart attack, maybe. Warning, 
Michelle Obama approaching. Threat detected. Great. Thanks to you two fucking idiots, I now need to soundproof my man cave so Michelle won't hear everything I'm saying. I heard that, Barack. What the fuck is all this talk about you committing elder abuse and making some old man die of a massive heart attack? I know, right? Barack's being a real bitch to us, Michelle. By the way, you're looking lovely this morning. Did you do something different with your hair? Stop hitting on my wife. I'm not hitting on her, just complimenting her appearance. Michelle, Barack's being mean to us again. He may need a timeout. I won't tolerate you treating these old, old men like the petrified pieces of shit they are. I told you to fucking behave yourself. Okay, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. He's lying. As soon as you leave, he's going to start bullying us again. Then maybe I should just take over playing for him. No, you don't need to do that. I'm sure he'll stop if you just give him a stern warning. Yeah, Joe's right. Just save the ass whooping for later, and he'll mind his manners for now. No, fuck that. You said he needed a timeout, so that's what he's going to get. Warning. Hostile takeover confirmed. Barack Obama ejected from game. Great. Look what you did, Joe. You told her to give him a fucking timeout. Stop blaming me, Donnie. I was just telling the truth about him being an asshole. Yeah, but you took it too far. Now she's going to crucify us over this shit. You're right about that, Donnie. If you think my husband was mean, just wait until I'm done with the two of you. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry for what I said. Please just let your stupid fucking husband play again. I'll do anything. My stupid fucking husband, Joe? You son of a bitch, that's it. You're mine. He didn't mean that, Michelle. Oh my God, the media just snapped a pic of your daughter smoking a cigarette. You're lying, you orange fuck. Stop trying to make me quit the game. Actually, Michelle, he's telling the truth. Maybe you should go talk to Malia and let Barack back on. All right, you win this time, but I'll be back. You fucking hear me, bitches? Michelle Obama departing. Barack rejoining game. Threat neutralized. I honestly can't believe what you two just did to me. Why did you rat me out like that? Oh, please, you fucking deserved it. Yeah. Thankfully, Donnie saved you. You should thank him. I'm not thanking him for anything. It's not like he was doing me any favors. Now Michelle's going to be upset for days. Look, can we please just move on and finish the game without any more interruptions? Probably not. I'm sure Melania will show up next. No, she won't. Unlike you two, I keep the door locked, so no one can bother me while I'm playing. Not like Melania would want to see what you were doing anyway. I'm sure she's thankful for every minute she doesn't have to spend with her fat, orange husband. Shut the fuck up. Melania loves me. We have a very good relationship. Yeah, when you're not slobbering all over other women. All right, enough. Let's keep our focus on the game. Yeah, good idea. Well, I'm still in last place, which is depressing as fuck. But we still have three holes to go, so I still have a shot at making a comeback. All right, I'm up first. You guys just follow my lead, okay? Watch where I aim. Okay, Tangerine man. Let's see if you actually know what the fuck you're talking about. Nice shot, Donnie. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm doing you a favor by showing you what to do. Just don't go blocking my next shot. You hear me, bro? Bro, Obama makes no promises. All right, my turn. I'm really nervous. Rainbow Dash will, is in the mailbox without milk. Again. Oh, shit. He's starting to talk crazy, bro. Quick, give him one of his dementia pills. Here, Joe. Take as many of these as you need. Thanks. I, you know, I forgot to take my meds this morning. It's going to be okay, Joe. You'll be back to normal soon. Thanks. You guys are lifesavers. We'll do whatever it takes to keep you from going batshit crazy. Oh, hell no. I told you not to block my fucking ball. Quit whining like a snot-nosed little brat, Donnie. You dirty bastard. I should have known you'd do it anyway. Just bank it. It's not that far to the hole. I'm feeling much better now. Wow. The last time I got that confused, Jill had to hold my hand and walk me off stage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's going to send you to a nursing home once I win the next presidential election and you leave the White House. As long as I get to pinch the nurses' asses, that's fine by me. They may even let you sniff their hair if you're lucky. Stop being such an ass, Donnie. No, it's okay, Barack. The more wigs I can sniff, the better. All right. Both of you shut the hell up. I'm tired of all the nonsense. All right, fine. But in return, I expect you to stop playing dirty, Barack. I'm tired of you screwing us over just so you can get ahead. Okay, whatever. Now I just need to finish up here. Damn it, how the hell did I miss that? Yeah, your score is sinking like the Titanic at this point. 
but anything could happen on the last two holes, so don't lose hope. The big O isn't about to screw up, Donnie. So don't start thinking you've got some sort of advantage. I don't want to hear it, bro. Just keep your balls out of our way, and we'll see who comes out on top. Great. Why does that stupid-ass coffin have to be in the way? Don't worry about that. Just hit the wall at an angle, and your ball will bounce over it. Watch and learn. I think the game devs put the coffin there to symbolize your dead political career, Donnie. Of course, you would say some shit like that. All right, I'm just going to hit it off the other wall and hope for the best. At this point, I don't feel very confident, but with any luck, I'll land in a good spot. I'm sure you'll do fine. Yeah, not a bad shot at all. Oh, thank God. Okay, your turn, broski. Yeah, your turn. Don't block my fucking ball either. I don't even know why you get to go last again. This game is totally rigged. It's not rigged, Donnie. Fake news, that's all I get from you. Whatever. Stop yapping already. It's hard enough playing without you constantly complaining about everything. Oh shit, looks like he's getting cozy with your ball, Donnie. I don't even fucking care at this point. I can still make my next shot. Okay, time to dominate. I'm ready to win this hole and finally pull ahead. Okay, let's see if the Trumpinator can pull it off. Holy shit, that was an amazing shot. Yeah, I have to admit, you did a lot better than I thought you would. Still. We're a long way from the finish line. All right, moment of truth. I have to make it to where Donnie's at. I have faith in you, Joe. You can do it. Yeah, it's not that hard. See? All right, I'm up. Maintaining my lead here will be easy. So you say. But if you miss this shot, you can kiss first place goodbye. Yeah. Please. I'm a seasoned pro. The only game I play more than golf is basketball. Maybe we should try that next. Basketball is for losers. And blank people. Blank people? You mean black people? You being a racist now, Joe? He's not being a racist, just stating a fact. Obviously, the majority of basketball players are better at the game than most white people will ever be. That's why it's a black man's sport. Okay, just calm down, Broski. You don't need to get so worked up over it. Yeah, you're getting hella defensive over nothing, bro. I wasn't trying to make fun of you. All right, fine. Drop it. Here we go, boys. Last hole. Time to see who's actually going to win. And look, I'm up first so you can finally stop complaining about me going last all the time. You've only had to go first, twice, on the first and second holes, which are by far the easiest of all. Further proof that this game is cheating in your favor? That is the weakest excuse I've ever heard. I'm with Donnie on this one. You've had every opportunity to screw us over up to this point, so it's no wonder you're in first place. I can't believe the two of you are actually agreeing on this. Oh, look, Donnie. Your ball just rolled in front of mine but you're not going to hear me cry about it because unlike you, I'm not a little bitch. Who are you kidding? You're always a little bitch. Even Michelle knows that. Fuck this hole. This stupid ass fucking hole sucks. It's not like you had a shot at winning the game anyway, Joe. So get over it. You are so fucking rude. Just telling the truth. Joe is playing like dog shit and you keep feeding him lies, pretending he somehow has a chance at making a comeback. It's okay, Donnie. I don't care anymore. I'm just glad we're almost done with the haunted course. Yeah, you and me both. Clearly, Barack is going to take the win here, but remember, this is only the second course. You'll do better next time, I'm sure, Joe. The thought of you two actually being friendly with each other right now makes me want to hurl. Yeah, well, the thought of you shutting your fucking mouth for once makes me feel good. At least Donnie actually cares about me, unlike you. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. Joe, you've got to stop listening to him. He's not really on your side. He's just using you to try and turn us against each other. Don't you see that? Here we go again. Orange man bad. Give it a rest, Barack. Joe's not falling for that. Yeah, besides, you've treated me like shit since I was your VP. I remember when you used to make me bring you your slippers in the White House library. Okay, look. I'm sorry, Joe. Can we please just wipe the slate clean and start over without all of the animosity? All right, fine. I can't believe how badly I played today, but whatever. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Before we finish up, I'd just like to give a shout out to everyone who made it to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content. And give us your suggestions in the comments section below. See you next time.